Hello guys and welcome back. Today we're going to go to Della Metallica. As you know, I left you off there in front of Della Metallica in the sealed library, or although I do believe it's called the Forbidden Library. I call it the same thing. So yeah, if I ever say the, if I ever call it either or, it's because I, that's what I think it is. So yeah, first off, before you go in there, you do want to actually get back to Adelaide and hopefully you got the advanced map the adventure magician here who can give you advanced spells because you're going to need um two spells in order to get cecilia's not her i don't believe her best left-handed item but the best one so far so you're definitely going to need two spells so make sure you get this this one is called lucky shot all right and then you're also going to need um a spell to imprison the enemy that would be some here i can never remember which one it is Ah, here we go. Seal in Band Area Group. Now, I believe this is also a simple spell, but, um, yeah, I'm just gonna bind it to an advanced- uh, bind it as an advanced spell. So it's called High Prison. Now, what Lucky Shot will do is, um, it will either hit for zero, or it will insta-kill the enemy. With Prison, it pretty much raises the- it raises the success rate to about 100%, literally 100%, so and it also guarantee a rare drop item and that is the left handed item that you need for Cecilia basically it basically what'll happen is her let's see uh, her sorcery right now is at 312 if we equip this her sorcery would go to about 485 so yeah it pretty much doubles her sorcery and that's a pretty insane boost to her sor sorcery power unless I was reading the wrong one yeah to her sorcery power anyways I will see you guys back at uh, the sealed library where Della Metallica is All right guys, so here we are back at the sealed library. Now let's go into Della Metallica. So basically read it. The pages turn by themselves and Toad reaches a section on forbidden magic. As your consciousness speak wanes, you begin to hear a voice from afar. Well, that's kind of too bad they didn't actually um, put a voice that was saying anything to Cecilia. It'd be nice if there was. Okay, anyways, this place is not hard whatsoever. It, there are about two puzzles, but even so, they're very easy. Now, I don't recommend using your invisibility spell to avoid the random encounters, because the whole reason of these random encounters, well, no, don't don't avoid the random encounters. They give very good experience and Gela, and I would recommend not avoiding them, as per what I said. Yeah, so go down the stairs, then you're going to go down and right and go into the store here. Now, from here, there are two ways you can complete this. First, walk up to the right staircase, the stair sets, talk to the door. The door has been closed for two hours. Now, this pl basically the stairs act as a clock, so if you walk counterclockwise this way, this way, down the stairs, and walk back, basically around it, back to the door, you will have one hour that has elapsed. If so, basically just walk around it twice, and the door will be open. Or, you can use your watch in front of it to go back one hour. So, right now it should be, there should only be one hour left on the door. Only an hour ago, people were coming and going through the door. So, there you go. Use your watch one more time and go up only during this hour will the warm welcome of travelers begin there we go door is open let's go through okay now that here in this section you will come across basically um a type of enemy he's called talgeum he's basically a floating book and you could just use your physical attacks do not waste any fast draws attacks on him especially with jack or your magic on them they're very weak and easily destroyed so these are your basic attacks okay now, as you progress through the through here, Della Metallica, you will come across books like these. Do not avoid them. Make sure to talk to them, because if you talk to all of the books that you find, you will get Jack's fast draw hint for Phase Zapper. This is the Song of Earth. It dwells in the sword to become power. It dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy. Yeah, so we got that. Now, continue all the way south and go through the store here. From here, go south, go west. <laughs> get my east and west mixed up sometimes. This is a song of water. It dwells in the sword to become power. It dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy. And then you're going to run run to the northwest to get the Book of Fire. This is a song of fire. It dwells in the sword to become power. It dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy. Okay, now just basically continue. Okay guys, so basically this is the only one of the only battles I will ever show you just because they have a rare item that is very useful for you right now. So as you can see, he is encased in a crystal. I use, what I used was High Prison. 
That basically encased him in a crystal, making him completely immobile. What you do next is use Lucky Shot. And as you'll notice, it'll be an insta kill. There we go. Now, if you did that correctly, like you cast Prison and then it, Lucky Shot, you will get 1600,000 uh, ignored experience on a Gela. And you'll get the ne Necromicon. That is exactly what we want. Okay? So, and now for, I guess, proof of how how much it buffs you. Here we go. Okay, we'll, put, we'll basically put Aqua Ring back because that's what I was talking about. That's what I compared it to. Okay. As you can see, 484 to a sorcery as well as 305 to magic resistance. That is huge. Also, Death Rune is the best rune you have for her so far, and Life Rune is the best rune you have for Jack so far. So, I would recommend having those equipped. Now, just follow the staircase until you get the doorway here. Okay. You can also, um, if you did not come across the ne Necromics, the books that the book that you just saw me destroy, then you can save here and just continue running back and forth until you fight Necromic and get a chance to use High Prison Lucky Shot. And if you did not bind the spells like I told you to, then just, it's a rare drop, so go ahead and keep fighting until you get it, otherwise just leave. But I will tell you this, if you leave Della Metallica at, as soon as you get the Guardian of Life, it's done. You cannot enter again, so I will recommend you stick around and get it. Okay, so now that's done, go all the way up the staircase. And talk to the monument here for your next for a hint on the puzzle. Knowledge is a treasure. You must engrave this into your heart if you seek the other side of the door. Now the door... Okay, so obviously this door will not open until you solve the puzzle. So what you're going to do is we're going to walk up these stairs here. Then go through the door at the end. Now you're going to see five bookshelves at the top. Um, the bookshelves you want to basically keep note of is bookshelf number three and four. Because these, you can read all of them. And for the sake of completion, I will read them all to you. And you'll understand why um, why that monument told you about knowledge. Hopefully. Closed minds will lead Volgaia to its doom. The Elus have gone to another world. What do you search for with those closed eyes? This is Volgaia, a dying world. Now, as you can see, the first, third, no, first, second, and fifth bookshelf show no basically lust for knowledge whatsoever and that is exactly what we need so we'll talk to the third and fourth for a thousand years people have torn apart the land looking for the future they've lost a foolish woman opened the box and all the desires of the world were released this is the human nature in its purest form so basically that's a reference to pandora's box the girl opened the box and released all the evils save hope um but yeah and so basically these two implied that they're not the search for knowledge was was basically what those books were about <laughs> yeah i know i didn't know how to explain that so yeah three and four are the are the basically the pieces to the puzzle so just return back to the room you you skipped or not skipped but exited and entered oh god i can't talk right from okay whatever go 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 to the monument and then go down the stairs to the right and down and left go through the door and go through this door here Okay, yeah, um, I totally forgot to make mention that you do not need to be, <laughs> I told you guys before the, in the last video at the end, that you should be at least level 36, 37 before you enter this place. You do not need to be to be that high of a level, just try to be at least level 33. I'm getting my, my um, walkthroughs mixed up. And yeah, it'll. I'll make mention of that in my detailed walkthrough on my site, guidevault.weebly.com and everything. But yeah, you, don't need not, you do not need to be that high of a level. So anyways, just like the bookshelves, you want the chest, you want to pick the three and four because they contained the search for knowledge so we'll go three and four and by one to five I re i'm referring to the order of the chest from left to right so take chest three take chest four and yeah the door should be open now so let's go through the door and basically return to the sealed door and don't worry about conserving a um mp whatsoever there is nothing to conserve it for it's true, knowledge is a real treasure. It can help people as well as confuse them. Now the reason you don't you don't need to conserve anything is because there's no boss fight anywhere around here. So yeah, okay. So from here you wanna go down this way. Or left, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just still reach the, the song of the wind. It dwells in the sword to become power. It dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy. From here you wanna go to the middle door. And then follow the path until you get to the the song of lightning here. This is a song of lightning. It dwells in the sword to become power. It dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy. Okay, I just want to make mention, if you guys did get the Necromicon, you will notice your spells 
pretty much hit for twice as much as they as they originally did so yeah insane so go through the door here and go up now this is where you're gonna get your fast draw hint so talk to the final three books this is a song of nothingness it dwells in the sword to become power it dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy now the only way to get this fast draw is to talk to all the books like i said earlier so if you haven't done that backtrack until you find all the books again or just rewatch the walkthrough it doesn't matter um this is a song of of the sacred it dwells in the sword to become power it dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy this is a song of illusion. It dwells in a sword to become power. It dwells in a soul to defeat the enemy. So I should adapt these characteristics into an attack. I'm gonna give it a try. There must be a bunch of different characteristics. There we go, we got phaser zap now. Now unfortunately I do not know what it does yet. I haven't progressed I haven't progressed past this point yet. Well, past this video yet and learned it. So I will it'll definitely be in the in my walkthrough on my site, so look forward to that. Okay, so from here you're gonna walk down the stairs or run, depending on your um, preference and then go through the door on the eastern side now here is the next puzzle talk to the door i seek i mean talk to monument i seek knowledge as guardian of his secret ways he's guardian of illusion uninvited one go to the left or to the right or we shall not meet all right so to activate the puzzle take the left door then you're going to want to talk to monument again the monument basically will give you hints as you progress through each door make sure you choose the right one the might of the demons is determined by the strength of their machines. So why does man follow the ways of the demons? Will the path to the left lead to horns? Will the path to the right lead to man? Choose the path you believe in. Take the right path. Visitors to Book of Dilla Metallica, what do you seek in this foreign world? The one who turns left shall receive the power of death. The one who turns right here shall receive the power of life. Guardian Blade, who is this that possesses unworthy powers? To forge a future for the world, choose the left door. To take the future from the world, choose the right door. So go to the left door. And this should be the final door. People always speak of justice while using the power to enforce it. What then is the meaning of justice? If you want justice as power, take the right door. If you want power as justice, take the left door. So we'll take the right door. And Kablamo, we have solved the puzzle. Now all we have to do is run all the way to the end, and this is basically where I stop talking because it just gets it is just basically a spiral until we get the Garden of Illusion. And here we are. Garden of Illusion. This is the realm of the forbidden knowledge. I am the keeper of all the knowledge stored here. Humans, you have successfully overcome the labyrinth. You have earned the right to possess the secret power of illusion. Just remember the power is a vehicle, not a driver. Warrior and the shaman princess take my powers. Have faith in what you do. Alright guys, so basically now we're back in the sealed library. Now all I have to do is use escape and then go back to the forest mound and the Ellie dimension. And you guys should know exactly where it is. Go to Rosetta Town, go south to the forest mound, go to the forest mound, go all the way into the, the platform with the three pillars surrounding it, go, go in between it, and you get transport to the Ellie dimension. So I will see you guys back in the Ellie dimension.